everybody, it's Nick with Adventure 406, and it is freezing cold outside. We're talking zero and below, so I am going to do an indoor activity this week. I bought a Racing Disc Progressive Limited Slip Differential Conversion Set for my E34 540, and I'm going to spend the next few days of being in the house putting an LSD in my diff. Step one, take over the girlfriend's craft room. Let's go. I'd just like to remind everybody that what I'm doing here is very dangerous. If you have a crafter in your life, you'd know that this room is sacred to them, and my presence in here is counterintuitive to their existence. If I go missing next week, please check the freezer first, and then, of course, the garden in the springtime. Let's take a look at what's inside the box here, nicely packaged. We've got a cotter pin, some stickers, paperwork, instructions, and then this nicely little packaged thing here, which um, it's got our full kit. We've got the springs, the locking pin with the ramps on it, shims, and of course the blocks that hold the springs. First thing is popping the stub axles off. And now with the axles out, it's time to take off the cover and the two end caps that hold your carrier unit in. Now you can set that diff cover out of the way. I'm trying my hardest to make sure that I don't get a single drop of gear oil anywhere but my two work surfaces. I'm trying to leave as little evidence as possible so that I don't get murdered for stinking up my girlfriend's craft room with gear oil, which is probably the smelliest automotive fluid on the planet. Now you can see I got the first cap off pretty easily. Then I roll it over here and uh, try and get the second cap off. The trick is to twist them and kind of lift up at the same time. If they bind up, you can just give them a little tap uh, with the hammer or your, your palms to get them all the way out. Now we'll set the carrier back the right side up and pull out your gear unit. Make sure to mark or label the caps or set them in a way that you'll remember which side they go back on as the shims um, set the backlash for your ring gear. While you weren't looking, I popped the um, reluctor ring for the speed sensor off, and right now I'm just popping out the cotter pin that holds the central pin in. Let me just say that the instructions for this from the uh, LSD uh, racing diffs conversion people say to remove the ring gear to avoid damaging it. I'm a flat rate technician so my first idea to try and get this done faster was to leave the gear on. So what I'm going to do now is just lubricate all of the um, contact surfaces of the springs and the two halves of the block with some LSD oil and then I'm going to stick it in the vise here and clamp it down until I can attach the two screws Look at all that effort, grunting, so much grunting. Almost got it there, just need a little tiny skosh more. And the uh, fastening block there just floats right in place. Now we'll just run the other side in real quick. Make sure everything is snug, not too tight though. 
and here is your block ready to go into the diff. Now what we're going to do is lubricate all of the contact surfaces with gear oil, limited slip gear oil. For this particular differential, the um, racing disc suggested uh, 75 140 fully synthetic. They recommended a Motul, but I didn't have that in my local map auto parts, so I went with an AMS oil. Um, comes in a bag, looks like it should be pretty easy to fill up the diff. So now what we're going to do is kind of try and position the uh, locking unit into the center of it and then unscrew the two screws and eventually it'll just pop right out and the tension, the block will, the springs inside the block will take up the tension inside of the unit. And pop. There we go. There's the first one. And now we'll get the second one. and pop. Now we'll get that little screw out of there, we don't want to leave any evidence behind, and then we will take out the remaining two screws as we don't need those any longer, and then what you need to do is tap the um, spring set into a central position so that you can slide the locking pin right through the other side. There it is sitting in there nice and pretty, and beep bop boop, here we go. Before you start tapping that shaft in there, you want to make sure that the hole for the locking cotter pin is straight up and down, so that way you don't have to knock it back out and reinsert it when your cotter pin doesn't go in all the way. Now we're going to insert the second part of the pin, which is just a tiny cap. Again, the same thing with the holes. You want to make sure that they're vertical, straight up and down, so that the cotter pin slides in nice and easy. All right, now that we've got both halves of the central pin in there, we're going to tap this cotter pin in and set it down until it is flush with the carrier. All right, here she is, ready to go back into the differential case. All right, put the speed sensor reluctor ring back on. All right, now remember with the caps to put them back in the same side that you got them from. What I want to do is just start it here enough where I can get some, a uh, couple of the bolts threaded in, and then that way I can walk it down nice and easy and I'm not binding on anything. Um, one thing that is important to remember is that the two bolt holes that are closest to the cover get locked tight. Don't ask me why, I don't know, that's just part of the directions. Make sure they're uh, set to the torque spec of Guten tight, and you should not have any issues. It spared you the trouble of watching me clean off the gasket surfaces, but here she is. I got new gaskets everywhere. She's resealed and pretty much ready to go back in the car. The last thing that you need to know is that your stub shaft is now too long and you need to have the uh, four millimeters milled from the end and then also have it chamfered and deburred. If all goes well, this should be the end result. That left tire is bald, so even though it's not throwing as much snow as the right, it is in fact spinning. So that is a mission success. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you next time on Adventure 406.